It's in the beginning of March, people thought, oh, it's just a flu, it's nothing. But because we've seen that so many people have that in the UK, they're becoming more conscious and more aware of how serious and how important it is to look after themselves, sanitize their hands, wear the mask all the time. Because in March, you'd see people getting in the bus, uh, going to stores and not wearing the mask, not being careful enough. But now you literally be, you see everybody wearing a mask, which makes me very happy and makes me feel safe as well. I think the good thing about it, we know more about this disease uh, first time round. I've seen a lot more bitterness um, second time round. People are not listening. Um, face masks. Um, you're getting on the bus, people are not wearing face masks. At the start, it was more about save the NHS, save... There was a big save, and that campaign is no longer there, as much as projected as it was. And I think that's changed, and we're not getting... I don't think they're getting the support that they need sometimes. The push for save the NHS has kind of died down a bit, which I think it should be brought back up, because they're doing the part still, but they're not really getting the recognition. Last lockdown, they took it a lot more serious, and stuff like that. And now, like, look, just look around, you get me, like, there's, there's hella man out here, you get me, so. Some people, they were really scared. But now they are, it's like, they know, you know, uh, what they've been through. So they are more positive, uh, they are not scared, you know, going out. Uh, um, most of them, they know how to protect themselves, you know. Now that it's more lenient, people can go out a bit and buy necessary stuff. So the camaraderie and then the, the concern for one another is still there, but more or less they are more independent and they can buy things for themselves. But for the really vulnerable people, I, I feel that they are still well looked after by the community.